faith in the king Israel united in Christ who we be Wherever our people be gathered You know that we bringing this heat Scripture on scripture We call that a precept We making it plain for our people to see See, see What's all on your internet Not just your internet on your TV Radio stations compelling our nation To wake up and change and come out of sleep Sleep, sleep, sleep in America We are not scared of you We are prepared for you Puppets are back with a vengeance He saw you gon' get it You know what you did to us 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 Israel, punch it, sing! Israel, sing! Oh, God! Who's the king? Who's the king? Who's the king? My name is Officer Ray Uel. What was your name? Marlo. Marlo. Okay, Marlo, we, we were talking. You asked. Uh, why do you go to a lot of churches, right? And you ask, why do those churches celebrate Sunday, right? What do all those churches have in common? Exactly, they celebrate on Sunday, and that image right there, brother Jesus, hold that up. This is what all those churches have in common that teach you to go to church on Sunday. They come to you with this image of this white man. His name is Caesar Borgia. Right. This is not Jesus the Christ. Right. Right. The Bible condemns any prophet that comes to you and doesn't teach the words of Jesus. Right. If he's coming with this image, that is not the word of Christ, brother. Give me 1 Peter 2 and 21. I'm going to tell you how you're supposed to walk. Read what you got. The book of 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 21. For even here unto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us. Christ suffered for us, the Israelites, you so-called blacks and Hispanics. Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, suffered for you and you only. Hmm. Leaving us an example. Leaving us what? An example. Christ left us an example. That's what it means to be Christian, right? You follow the example of Jesus Christ. Right. Read on. That ye should follow his step. That you should what? Follow his step. No, we should do something new. We should try Sunday. Ye should follow his steps. Let's see what Christ's steps were. Read what you got. Mark chapter 1 and verse 21. And they went into Capernaum. And straightway on the Sabbath day, what day? On the Sabbath day. What day is the Sabbath, brother? Saturday. Right. Saturday, Saturday is the Sabbath. Read. He entered into the synagogue and taught. Je Jesus Christ entered into the synagogue on the Sabbath read, and taught. And he taught the people. That's what we're doing. Right. This is what the real prophets do. They come out on the streets and they teach on the Sabbath day. Right. We don't hide in some building on Sunday and deceive our people. You understand right. that? Uh, so what are those other churches doing? They what? They saying it's all. They saying church is on Sunday. Read on. And they were astonished at his doctrine. Just like you, ain't you astonished? You never heard that the Sabbath was on Saturday. That's like an astonishment. Yo, how old are you? Twenty-two. You're twenty-two years old. And give me Genesis two. You're twenty-two years old. And this verse has never meant anything to you. You're twenty-two years old. This is the beginning of the Bible. Read what you got. The book of Genesis. Chapter 2 and verse 1. Read. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. The heavens and the earth were finished. Read. And all the host of them. Read. And on the seventh day. What day? The seventh day. The seventh day is when? God ended his work. That's when God ended his work. Today is the seventh day. Right. You lived your life for 22 years. Been in how many churches? You probably can't count. And you've never heard that the seventh day is Saturday. That's an astonishment. That's insane. But the seventh day is Saturday. But they come to you, give me Galatians 1. They come to you with somebody who is not Jesus the Christ. What does Jesus Christ look like? You don't know what Christ looks like? Get that first. The book of Revelation. Chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. What does revelation mean? This is the revelation of Jesus Christ. What does revelation mean, anybody? 
The word revelation means to reveal. Right. This is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. Which God gave unto him. Read. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Read. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. So he sent his revelation to John. John the Revelator. Read on. Verse 2. Who bear record? What does it mean to bear record? To witness. So he bear record. He witnessed. He wrote down. Read. Who bear record of the word of God? Uh huh. And of the testimony of Jesus Christ. Read. And all the things that he saw. All the what? All the things that he saw. So the things John did. What did he do? What the things John saw. What did he do? He wrote them down. Show me, uh, give me verse uh, 13. 13. Verse 13. Hey, in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Seven candlesticks, what's that? In the midst, in the middle of the seven candlesticks. What is the, what is the seven candlesticks? I'll give you a hint. What is the seven candlesticks? A menorah. Right. So he saw a menorah. He's recording what he saw. Read. One light unto the Son of Man. Who's the Son of Man? Jesus Christ, right? Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So he had a long garment on down to his feet. Understand? Read. And girt about the pots with a golden girdle. So he had like a big belt like thing going around him. Read. Verse 14. So remember, John's bearing record of what? What is John writing down? What he saw. Read. His hands and his hands were white like wool. Hold up that bastard. Because now he's a bastard. Because he's not in the Bible. Right. Who is that? His head and his hairs were what? White like wool. Is that man's head and hair? The hair on his head and the hair on his beard. They're what? White like wool. Look at that sister's hair right there. What texture is her hair? It's woolly. That's woolly hair. That's woolly hair. Is that woolly hair? Right here. Hell no. That's exactly right. Hell no, that's not woolly hair. That's the hair of the so-called white man. That's stringy goat hair. That's stringy dog hair. Read on. As white as snow. So Christ's hair was fully white. He's fully gray. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. But he said, Jesus Christ's eyes were like a flame of fire. Now he's not an X-Man. He won't shoot laser beams out of his eyes. There's a prophecy that explains why his eyes look like that. Read what you got. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes shall be what? His eyes shall be red with wine. Did, Greek, did Jesus Christ drink wine? So, if you got an uncle that's a drunk, what color does his eyes turn? The white. He turned red. Right. Christ wasn't no drunk. He drank in moderation. You understand? So that's why his eyes were red. That's precept upon precept. We use the Bible to explain itself. That simple. We don't sit out here and make up stuff. You understand? Read what you got again. Verse 14. Read. His hair and his hair were white like wool. So they were white and woolly like a Negro. Because Christ was a so-called Negro, Christ is an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You are an Israelite. You understand that? Read. Don't ever be confused on who you are again from this day forth. Because we told you with the Bible who you are. You look like Jesus Christ. Christ is your family. We are your family. You understand that? Read. As white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drank what? Wine. Read. Verse 15. And his feet. And his feet. Remember, he had a long garment, right? Down to his foot. So the only thing John could see was his feet. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Fine what? Brass. What color is brass? Brown. Brass is a derivative of brown. Go back to this image. What color is that man? That man is... He ain't even white. There are no white people on this planet. Right. This sign is white. I've never seen a white person. I've seen red people. 
Bugs, Rob. I've seen a lot of red people. Peach, Rose. I've seen red people. The brother, you understand? Your shirt is white. I've never seen a white man. Is that man white? Hell no. This skin is red. Red. Right. This guy calls him an Edomite. Yes, right. Caesar Borgia was an Edomite. Right. That is not Jesus the Christ. Now, what did Jesus the Christ look like? Start from 15 at the top. Hey, his feet right up to my breast. So they were brown. As if they burn in a furnace. What happens when you put anything in an oven? You work at a restaurant? What color does it turn? If you put it in the oven, like put some rice in the oven and you burn it, what does it look like? Brown to black. The brown to black. That's what Jesus Christ looked like. He looked right. just like the Bible said. What was right. Christ? He was black. That's exactly right. Why does that matter? Why does that matter? You know, you put it down. We're telling you with the Bible that Christ never ever looked like that in any Bible. You, will, I can pay you five hundred dollars if you find it. Why does that matter? Because you go to a bunch of churches. All those churches, they wouldn't answer that question if you asked them. They say, oh, you look like everything. You look like everybody. You understand? But they'll keep that hanging up in the church. Read what you got. Say Corinthians. 2 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Here's why it matters. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, through his sneakiness. Read. So your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Read that last part again. So your minds should be corrupted. Your minds be corrupted. You could be corrupted away from the simplicity. That's simply not Jesus, right? Simply. There's no. Did you? Did we read anything confusing that might lead you to believe that was Jesus Christ right there? No. Read on. So your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. The simple, the simple understanding of Christ. You just read what he looked like. It's in the Bible. It's recorded. Read. For if he that cometh, for if he that cometh, if he that cometh, who came and enslaved the so-called blacks and Hispanics? Who taught you Christianity? Caucasian people. Right. In slavery. We didn't volunteer to learn it. We were forced to digest it. Right, right. Read that again. For if he that cometh, the so-called white man, we preacheth another Jesus. Another what? Another Jesus. Brother, did you know this verse is in the Bible? If he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, we whom we have not preached. No prophet in the Bible said there's a white man that's Jesus. Right, oh, right. What? Read. Or if ye receive another spirit. The Bible never describes in those churches. Do they catch the Holy Ghost, quote unquote? They say they do. What do they do? They jump around, scream. They jump around, scream, and holler. That's yours tonight. You want it? You want it? Take it. You want it tonight? Take it. The power of the Holy Ghost. Take it. Oh, take it. Take it. Take it. That's of the damn devil. Right, right, right. That ain't the Holy Ghost. We'll show you what the Holy Ghost is. There's nowhere in the Bible that says if you get the Holy Ghost, you start jumping around like a damn fool, throwing up in trash cans, prayer claws getting thrown on you. That's another spirit. That's of the devil. We, which ye have not received, or another gospel, another gospel, uh, another gospel would be, hey, you can go to church on Sunday. That's another gospel. That's not in the Bible. Right. The Sabbath is on Sunday. What's the first day of the week? What's the first day of the week? Say it again. Second. It's Sunday. What, what? The Sabbath is on what day? Saturday. Saturday, the last day of the week. That's another gospel. That's not right. in the Bible. Read. Which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. So that's the significance. He said, if he didn't come and preach of another Jesus in another gospel. Give me Galatians 1. What you got? Galatians 1. Start at verse. Bring it out. 7. No, verse 6. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 6. We, we're, bringing, we're bringing this out so that you don't leave again and go back to another church. We never right. want you to enter your foot into another fake church again right. with that white image because you cannot 
with your conscience now go into that church and say, oh, well, they worship Jesus too. Right. Because they do not. They worship the so-called white man. That's right. Two-thirds of our people are going to get put to death for worshiping the so-called white man. Right. God is done with this garbage. The time is running out. Read what you got. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 6. I marvel that you are so soon removed from that called from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. He said he marveled. Paul said, I marvel that you are so soon removed to another gospel. Like it said in Corinthians. What's another gospel? What's another gospel? Say again. Something other than the Bible teaches. That's what Paul's saying. Read it again. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Into a different gospel, read, which is not another. There is no other gospel. There is only the gospel of the Bible. Right. Read. But there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Did you what? But would pervert the gospel of Christ. There are some that, what does pervert mean? Change, like destroy, corrupt, that's pervert. Saying that the Sabbath is on Sunday is perversion. It's a perversion of the gospel of Christ. Read. But though we are an angel from heaven, so Paul saying if we or any angel from heaven, any if anybody comes up to you, read, preach any other gospel and preaches any other gospel, that Christ is a white man, that the Sabbath is on Sunday, or hell, Wednesday, or Tuesday, or that Christmas is biblical, or any of that garbage. If they come up to you with that, read, or preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, than that which is in the Holy Bible, read, let him be a curse. Let him be what? Let him be a curse. No, let him set up churches. Let him be a curse. No, pay that man tithe. Let him be a curse. Bible says let that man be a curse. Right, right, right. Never. Don't ever go back to one of those churches, bro. Ever. No life depends on it. No lie. Read. The book of John, chapter 7, and verse 38. He that believeth on me. This is Jesus Christ. He said, He that believeth on me. As the scripture had said. Say what? As the scripture had said. Brother, what did the scripture say? What did the scripture say? He said, read it again. He ain't catching. He that believeth on me. He that believes on Jesus Christ. As the scripture had said. As the scripture has said. How did the scripture describe Christ? As a black man. Right. It described him as a black man. Right. You cannot worship this and think you're getting into heaven. Right. You cannot worship that white man and get into heaven. No. Because right. you ain't worshiping Christ. Right. You understand that? That's in the black Messiah, Jesus Christ, he preached one gospel. Uh, Acts 3 19. Acts 3 19. Chapter 3 and verse 19. This is the gospel of Christ. Read. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Christ taught repentance. What does it mean to repent? To turn away from your sins. What sin? What is sin? Sin is evil or anything that we're doing that is wrong. That's what you're saying. Let's tell you what the Bible says. Read. Read. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. I don't, want, I don't want you to leave with a made up definition of sin. That's made up. That came out the back of your head. We're going to tell you what the Bible says. Read. Read. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. Brother, what is sin? Right. Transgression means what? Break. Sin is when you what? Break the laws of God. That's sin. You understand that? Go back to Acts. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. What does it mean to be converted? It says repent and be converted. What does that mean? To be led to the truth? What does convert mean? To switch. To switch. Or to what? Change. Repent and be changed. How do you change? Like listening to the truth and knowing the truth? We're going to show you. Read.
The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. Here's how you convert. The law of the Lord is perfect. God's laws are perfect. Read. Converting the soul. Doing what? Converting the soul. So can you change yourself? No, not for the better. What converts you? The law of the Lord is perfect. For example, these fringes are what? They're part of the law. Right. Wearing fringes in the border of a blue is part of the law. Right. A woman wearing a dress like that is part of the law. You're supposed to be dressed in modest apparel, sis. Do you know your nationality? <laughs> Do you know your nationality? Yeah. What's your nationality? African American. What part of Africa do you come from? How can you be half African and half American? You know the origin of the name African American? No. It came about in like the 1980s from Jesse Jackson. Right. That's where African American came from. So before slavery, what was our nationality? According to God, what is our nationality? Look on this sign right here. What's your nationality based on that sign? What's yours, brother? Help her out. What's yours? You're Israelite from what tribe? Black. Black, American black. So that, according to God, who are you? American by Judah. Judah. That's your tribe. Right. That's who you come from. Before slavery, before cargo slave ships, you were called Israelites from the tribe of Judah. Right. That's who you are. You understand that? Give me Deuteronomy 28. I mean, uh, 15. Chapter 28 and verse 15. We're going to show you how you became one. We were just showing this brother. They gave us this image of slavery. Who is that? Uh, it ain't Jesus. It's not Jesus. That right there, that man's name is Caesar Borgia. They're the same person. They're portraying that man as Jesus Christ. Right. That's not his twin brother. They're saying that man is Christ. Brother, is that man in the Bible? We just proved to that man that man is not in the Bible. Do you know that? No, I didn't know that. Uh, Would you like to know it? Yeah. Recognize this one. Say again? You recognize this one, right? Let's get your head. Hold it up. So you, you recognize that person? Nope, that's not Christ. That, that's your friendly neighborhood white man. That's the man that work in that store. That's the man that's your landlord. Give me Revelation 1 and 14. Revelation. Chapter 1 and verse 14. All right, sis, listen up. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ. This is what he looks like. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So look at that version of Christ you say you recognize. Is that white and woolly hair? What texture is woolly hair? It's supposed to be like out. Not what you hold here because that looks like your oppressor's hair. Don't rub that. Right. Your, your, your hair, it should look like this. You know why? Because this is beautiful. Yeah. This is beautiful the way it is. Because that's what Christ looked like. Christ would walk the street today, he'd have a, he have an afro. Do you know that? Read. As white as snow. So his hair was fully gray. You understand? Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So we explained it to that brother. What was Jesus Christ's first miracle? No, no, that's Moses. Like the brother said, turn water into wine. You, you remember that? That's his first miracle. So Christ did what? What did he drink? Wine. He drank wine. Do you have an uncle that drinks? Uh, yeah. What color do the whites of his eyes turn? Um, when drink, I guess it turns red. It turns red. This is a prophecy about Jesus. Listen to this. The, the book. Of Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. All right, listen up, sis. This is why his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read. You put it in. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes shall be red with what? Wine. With wine. You understand that? So that's why his eyes were red. Does that make sense to your sister? Okay. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass. So it says his feet look like fine brass. What color is brass? Let me see your feet. What color is brass, sis? Um, like brown. Like brown, right? A brown is brown. It's a derivative of brown. Brass is like brown. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. 
So those feet, those brown feet, you take them and then you burn them in the furnace. What color do they turn? Black. Black. So what did Jesus Christ look like? Based on the Bible. He was a black man. That's right. That's right. So that thing you recognize, that thing is Cesar Borgia. You've been worshiping the so-called white man. Give me John 4.22. So that's, that's what y'all believe in? We believe in what the scripture has said. Oh, yeah. what you have. Why they say you didn't believe. This is how the prophets of the Bible taught. We do everything according to the Bible. Right. The prophets taught just like this. Who, who know what I want? Nehemiah. Where is it? Nehemiah. You know what I want. I'm show you that we not we didn't make this up. Your, your Christian church, you go to church? Sometimes. Right. Christian church makes no book. God told you to come out in the highways and the hedges and teach your people. Told you to cry aloud in the streets of the city. That's what we do. Read what you got. Nehemiah, chapter 8 and verse 3. So the sister asked, why do we come out here and we stand like this and teach the Bible? Read. And he read therein before the street. For the where? Before the street. So we read before the street. Read. Read. That was before the water gate from the morning until midday. So we come out here at a specific time of day. You understand? We're about to leave in a few hours. Read. And those that could, uh, before the men and the women, and those that could understand, and the ears of all the people were attentive unto the book of the law. This right here is the book of the law. Right. It was never called the Bible. It was the book of the law. This Bible is about the law, statutes, and commandments of God. That's why people are, are getting shot on the street. Our people. Yeah. Black people getting shot dead on the street. Hispanic people getting shot dead on the street. Native Americans. These people on this sign are victims of the same oppressor. Who's our shared oppressor? Who's shooting us dead? Who hates us? Uh, white people. White people. So-called white men. Well, let's bring it out to this brother. There are no white people on this planet. The sign is blood. The sign is white. Your uh, dress is half white. There are no people to color their dress. That's right. That's right. Right. Those people are red. Right. With various shades of the color red. God right. calls them Edomites. Finish that. Read on. And Ezra the scribe stood upon the pulpit of wood, which they had made for the purpose. And behind, beside him stood. And beside him what? Stood Mattathiah and Shema. So he had people standing beside him while he was teaching out of where? Out of the book of the law. You understand that? That is it. You got one? Freedom. And Amaiah, and Uriah, and Hilkiah, and Maasiah, and on his right, on his right hand. So it's on both sides, on his right hand, on his left hand, he had brothers. Standing there, teaching a rebellious people. You need protection teaching a rebellious people. I need my brothers out here with me. You understand? Because the people hate the word of God. They don't hate us. People hate the word of God. You understand that, sis? That's why we're out here like that. We do exactly what the Bible says. Paul, oh, what you got? Okay, go ahead. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 9. This is a rebellious people. From the beginning, our people, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, were rebellious people. They came out from under Moses. Do you know Moses led out the blacks and Hispanics from Egypt? Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah. yeah. What, what did Moses look like? Um, I'm not sure. What did Moses look like? Huh? You guess it? Black? Can you prove it? Let's prove it. Let's prove it. You, you see that, that movie Exodus that came out? No, I don't watch stuff like that. Good, because that's lies and slander. That's right. That's good. They showed him as, uh, what is it, Russian? Christian Bale, Batman. They said Batman was Moses. Oh no. That white devil. They said the white man was the Egyptians. What do the Egyptians look like? Oh yeah, they do say they're Negroes. Yeah, the Egyptians were so-called Negroes. They were not Negroes, they were Africans. Yeah. We ain't Africans. They said nothing to uh, white, white, white. They got looking like white museum. But they also said Jesus Christ was white. I wouldn't believe a damn thing the so-called white man told me because from the beginning he lied to you. This is how he controlled a plantation full of slaves with himself as your savior and your captain. So when you went home and prayed after working on the field, who'd you pray to? The white man. You prayed to the same man that's whipping you. To today. Because he set up all these churches. You got it? Yeah, you got it? All right. 
The book of Exodus chapter 2 and verse 16 read, Now the priest of Gideon had seven daughters, and they came and drew water and filled the troughs. So this priest of Gideon, these dark, these Hamite, these dark people, he had daughters drawing, drawing from a well. Read. And filled the troughs to water their flocks. Read on. Water their flocks. Read on. Water their father's flock. Uh-huh. Verse 17. And the shepherds came and drove them away. So these shepherds were chasing these girls away. Read. But Moses. So who? Moses. So Moses came to save them. Read. Stood up and helped them. He helped them. Remember, it was Moses. Read. And watered their flock. Verse 18. Uh -huh. And when they came to Reuel, their father. Reuel, their father. He said, how is it that ye are come so soon today? He said, how did y'all come back home so soon today? That's what he asked those seven daughters. Read. And they said, an Egyptian. A who? An Egyptian. A who? An Egyptian. They called Moses an Egyptian. Right. So what did the Egyptians look like? Again. Like us. Like us. They were dark people. So he mistook Moses for an Egyptian. Surely he was a white man. No white man on this planet has ever been mistaken for an African. That's right. right. Yeah, no. Let me read you guys. So we're talking about the history. Because this is Bible history. This ain't fiction. This is your history, your history, brother. What's your nationality? Christian. Christian is not a nationality. What's your nationality? Huh? Christ, I believe in God. Christ, we believe in God. What do you put on our job application, brother? Come on. What's your race? Well, there you go. Black, What's your race? Black, 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 black is colored. That's still wrong. Check this out. European. Huh? European. Who European? I mean, well, whatever y'all is, that's what I'm with too. Cause I believe, and I'm just. Believing. You believe? Yes. So, what's your nationality? If you believe? Out of all these right here. One, three. Out of all these. Yeah, these. These are the biblical nations of Israel. Yeah. This is in the Bible. These are the sons of God. Do you come out of these nations? If you don't, that's fine. You just keep on. But if you come out of any of these people, which one? Because this Bible ain't for everybody. I repeat, this Bible is not for everybody. This Bible is a black and Hispanic history book. Who, what, so what tribe are you from, based on the sign? African black. African black. What does is, what is God call you? What does God call you? If you uh, uh, American black, what does God call you? Judah. 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 Oh, say that. Wow. Judah. 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 Brown. Judah. What tribe y'all from? Judah. There you go. You from the tribe of Judah. Okay, so. What's your question, sir? What do I, what are my, what, how can I say, what's my position? In, uh, what's your position? Yeah. Give me first Corinthians 11 and 1. Are you married? No, I, I want a husband. You want a husband. Uh, All right, well, we're going to show you what it means to be married. You understand? One, give me first Timothy two and nine. We want to help you find a good husband. What is good according to the Bible? Um, love you get that. Uh, kind. Love is kind. Love is. Love, love is kind. Love is. All that. All that is. Yeah, well, that's the scripture. But we want to know what good is according to the Bible. You got it. The book of Romans chapter seven and verse twelve. Because you want a good husband, right? Three. Wherefore the law is holy. The law. The law of God is holy. And the commandment holy. The commandments are holy. Three. And just and good. And what? And just and good. The commandments are good. If you want a good man, find a man keeping God's commandments. That's right. That's what you do. This right here, this is a commandment of God. Fringes with a border of blue. Have you seen any uh, men that hit on you with these on? No, you never seen no man hitting on you with these. Oh, have I? Have I? Yeah. Um, no, but I had um. He said he was an Israelite. Are you an Israelite? We we are the Israelites. Everybody standing over here are Israelites. Yeah, but he didn't have that on. But he's not it. He don't believe. Oh. He didn't believe in taking heed to the commandment. Read what you got. Hit, and hit, so when you're looking for your husband, you want to know, I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You want to know that. You want to have pride in your nationality. Because African Americans ain't nothing. African Americans get shot on the street. They sell drugs to their own people. That's what African American does. That's what a so-called black man does. Israelites from the tribe of Judah keep God's commandments. And they love their people. They take care of their children. They take care of their husbands. They ain't out here wandering on these streets. 
Read what you got. Business man. Say again. Business man. Own your own business. Own your own business. Stop depending on the so-called white man for everything. That's a curse. We're going to get that. Stay here, brother. We're going to get that. Read. Get you or not. This is what you're going to do to find you the proper husband. You're going to learn about your nationality. You're going to keep God's commandments. You're going to do what? First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Sister, what is modest apparel? Um, just basically covering yourself. Covering yourself. Are you in modest apparel? Not trying to call you out, but are you in modest apparel? No, I wouldn't wear that to church. You wouldn't wear that to church? You can wear whatever the church. Church is of the devil. The church is the Israelites. That's the church. Where two or three are gathered in my name, Jesus Christ is in the midst of them. This is church. Church ain't in no stuffy building with some old heads talking about white Jesus and not keeping no laws. This is church, sis. I mean, you, you already said that I wasn't in um, modest apparel. Uh, in, like, in like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Adorn themselves in modest apparel. Not just on Sunday. That's not the Sabbath. You worship God every day. So when should you dress in modest apparel? Define, uh, is what you wear modest? Um, you said it wasn't. No, I'm asking you, do you think what you're wearing is modest? Um, what could change? Kind of, um... It's too tight, because you're showing your whole figure off to everybody on this place. The brother said your back is out, your cleavage is out. You know that's doing? That's advertising your body to men. They right, might right. mistake you for somebody that's selling your body. Right. For right. free or for money or for otherwise. They say, this woman, this woman is selling her body. The cleavage. Cleavage. And you know what you attract? You attract dogs. You attract right. the worst of the men. Because they see, oh, this woman don't appreciate herself. She ain't covering up what she got. You're a beautiful woman of Zion. You ain't got to show your body to get a man. Do you understand that? That's right. Do you understand that? Like those women, that's their way. That's the way they got down. That's, that's the right. way they get their jobs. That's the way they want. That's the way they get their men. That's Are you right. as bad as them? According to God, you're better than them. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. The book of Acts, chapter 7 and verse 38. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness. In the church in the wilderness with the angel which spoke. To him in the Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai, that's talking about Moses. Read. And with our fathers who received the lively oracle to give unto us. Verse 39. That's the Bible, the lively oracle is talking about the Bible, the commandments. Our fathers, read it again from the top. This is he. Moses is he. Read. That was in the church. In the what? In the church. Read. In the wilderness. So was there a big temple when Moses was out there in the wilderness? Was there a temple? Was there a synagogue? Was there a big old Amazon Baptist church down by the rock, side of the road, whatever names they got now? No. That's just out. He's just out. He's just with his people. That's church. With your people is church. The Israelites are the church. You understand that? I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.